Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam. You know, I received a question from Scott and I'd like to respond. I think this could affect a lot of people. So he had a detached retina and it was reattached via laser in the office and it didn't work. So then he went to the hospital and had the retina surgically reattached. Unfortunately, he lost about 90% of his vision. He's 56 years old, relatively young, and he's scared that you know, he could lose the vision in his other eye. And he was wondering if there's anything that I would recommend. So there, there's lots of things here. First of all, the retina has one of the highest metabolic needs in the body. And it's not only the nutrients that we're ingesting, but it's also the absorption ability. So this brings in our gut health. Our gut health and our retina health are very connected. I would suggest going to a naturopathic doctor or a functional medicine doctor, get a panel of tests, making sure you're not exposed to heavy metal toxicity, mold, candida, and that your dietary absorption is good. So there's no inflammation. You may need to do something with your microbiome to increase your absorption ability. So that would be number one. Number two, the nutrients that the, retinas, the retina needs would be as follows. Vitamin A, make sure you add zinc to that. Make sure you're able to absorb your fat-soluble vitamins because if your liver gallbladder are not working properly, you're not producing the bile you need and bile is important for your fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, lutein, and zeaxanthin. And those are very important for retinal health. So an acupuncturist can probably help you understand is your gallbladder working normally and are you getting enough bile? You can always just supplement with bile salts after a meal to make sure you're getting the vitamin A and the lutein and the zeaxanthin into the retina. I would add astaxanthin, bilberry, taurine, ginkgo, omega-3. You know, the retina is made up of about 50% fatty acids so you want to get between 1,000 and 2,000 milligrams of omega-3. Cut out your sugar. So sugar is a real enemy to the retina. And even carbohydrates, if we're not metabolizing them properly, they tend to boost our glucose levels to the point where it creates some real oxidative stress and inflammation in the retina. I would protect your eyes against blue light, so that either is with a screen uh, over your digital device or blue blocking glasses and my eye exercises. So physical eye therapy exercises can work really well. I actually have a retinal 90 day eye clarity program to strengthen the retina. This is expanding your peripheral vision, doing things like eye stretch, my palm hum, which is a visual relaxation exercise. All of these things can be very helpful at de-stressing your eyes and not allowing the, the retina to detach. And then finally, I would use my 5% MSM eye drops four to six times a day. It's important you keep your eyes hydrated. In the evening, I would consider a castor oil eye massage on the eyelids. So there's a lot of things you can do to be proactive with your retina and vitreous. And I think the time is now. All right, Scott, I wish you the very best. Thank you so much for the question.